The advice and opinions expressed by the host of Autism Live and her guests are meant solely as suggestion and should not be in any way construed as child-specific advice. The Center for Autism and Related Disorders advises working with a board-certified behavior analyst who has experience with autism before starting any intensive behavioral intervention. Any choices you make in determining your child's treatment are completely at your own discretion. Good morning and welcome to Autism Live on a very special day and a special show. I know it's Mondays and we're not usually live on Mondays, but we made a special exception because we have something so big to talk about. And I'm talking about this wonderful thing that's sitting here between the two of us. First of all, I want to uh, introduce to you guys Milena Ramasa. I said it correctly? You did. Thank you for having uh, me. So thrilled to have you here. You're coming to us from Conveyed, and they're an amazing company, you guys, that makes amazing car seats. They're a leader in car seat safety for all kids. And we have come to know them through some very special circumstances. As you guys know, I serve on the board of directors of an amazing organization called ACT Today. It's Autism Care and Treatment Today. They give grants to families for the things that families ask for. You know, there are great organizations that maybe just give iPads, and that's a great thing. There's other organizations that give swimming lessons. Act Today says, you tell us what you need, tell us about why you need it, and we raise money to be able to grant. There's never enough money. There's just never enough money, and it breaks our hearts uh, when, when we don't have enough money to give the things that families need because the need is so dire. So an amazing mom, I got goosebumps just now thinking about this, an amazing mom wrote an amazing letter to ACT Today and said, my son isn't safe in the car. And I know that there are those of you who are listening who have these issues as well. She wrote this impassioned letter. We'll read you parts of it later on. Get some tissues, get ready. But amazing little boy and wasn't safe in the car. There are other children in the family. And she said, I'm desperate. I'm absolutely desperate to have, to have my child be safe and to be able to take my children someplace. Now, we started a program here where we were working with a lot of people to raise money for a lot of different grants. And the people who were helping us to raise money for that particular grant were struggling. It's a hard time of year to raise money, as you guys know. Everybody's got a list of things that they need to spend money on. So I, you know, I, I sat down with Amy Zhang one day and we were like, what are we going to do? This family needs this car seat and they got to have it before the end of the year. And I said, let's call. She had specifically asked for a specific car seat and said, this is the one my kid needs. And I said, let's call the company. Let's call the company and let's ask them what they can do. So now I got con connected with Milena. And this is an amazing company, you guys, because what she said was, we're going to give that car seat to that mom. See, I'm going to cry, you guys, because that was huge. It was Don't huge. cry. It's part of our company pathos. We're here to be of service. We're, we're very strong corporate citizens. We have a, a plan, an annual plan of giving with a lot of different organizations. And a lot of our, our amazing families and kiddos uh, really have a lot of benefit from the Conveyed car seat and the other seating and mobility products that our Conveyed and RD2 lines um, offer. So when, 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 when I read that amazing plea, I seriously had to just stop, um, recompose myself, and realize that it's something that we had to make, take immediate action. So we did what Convey does and what RD2 does. We, we stopped, looked, listened, and acted immediately. So wow. we were happy to make the donation. We love companies that listen and we love companies that take action and the more you and I talked the more I said this is crazy we need to we need to do a special show about this 
about the car seat and the technology because I'll be honest with you I'm an I'm an autism mom and I'm in this community and I didn't know about Convade and I thought okay there's other families that don't know and car seats and car seat safety is a huge deal in our community and as you said in so many other communities so we said we need an hour to talk about this we've got a car seat uh, expert who's going to be joining us in just a few minutes to talk about because there are things about this car seat that you guys are going to love um, and we need to talk about our community and as our kids get older um, you know my son was always very tall and that happens with a lot mm -hmm. of our kids who are on the autism spectrum they tend to be a little taller than the average kids and um, we, we were very lucky because we got a lot of support early on so that by the time we couldn't get a car seat anymore, he was ready to be in a, in a booster seat. But that isn't everybody's story. And for people to buy a car seat and then have to buy another car seat and then eventually you get to the point where you're out of car seats, A, it's really expensive and there's no more precious cargo than our kids in the car. So true. And, and the idea of being able to drive safety while our kids are strapped in safely, I, it's a thing that every parent deserves to have a right to. So this car seat, I was so amazed. First of all, I was amazed at this mom that she took the time, she wrote a letter. And then when I saw all the features of the car seat, I got jazzed. I got really jazzed because this makes such good sense and how it grows with the kids is brilliant. And the next step after the car seat, we have a booster. We have a car seat uh, booster kit and seat that basically grows do. with the child. Yeah, it's, it's a natural progression. So as your child grows, you can just purchase the, the booster kit and just it, it leads you into adolescence and even young adulthood. So Love Sally it. can talk, talk more about the specifications, but this, this grows with your kids. It absolutely does. And we've even, we've even got some video later on to show you how easy it is to make it grow because I know car seats, you know, they, they got a lot of bells and whistles and features on them and knowing how to do it is super amazing. So we gotta say that, that this is a Convade, Convade Carrot? Three. Carrot three, yes. and because that's what the mom asked for. But you carry mm -hmm. other car seats as well. We carry just the Carrot three and the Carrot three booster. Okay. Our, um, the, a an RD2, a company that is part of our pediatric group, also has a, a pilot ca uh, car seat. Okay. But Carrot is the one that we've had, uh, that it seems to be the market leader right now, and it's the one that we have most demand for. It's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. So we should welcome Sally Mallory, who's with us uh, via Skype, and she is a child passenger safety technician. Did anybody know that such a thing existed? It's so exciting to me to know that A, that exists, and that we have her with us via Skype. But she not only does she do that, she is also a physical therapist, an assistive technology practitioner, and she is the business development representative for Convade in the southern states, yes, Texas and, and Oklahoma, uh, and, Oklahoma those and those states. So. Uh, nobody better than Sally to have with us. So Mallory, are you, or Sally, Sally Mallory, I've got it. Sally, are you with us? There she is. Yes. Uh, welcome to here. Autism Live. So thrilled to have you here and to hear your expertise about this car seat. It's nice to be here. Thank you very much for having us. We're thrilled. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm like, I, I wish I had a conveyed t-shirt because I would be sporting that because uh, I'm, I'm loving you guys. Tomorrow. You'll have one tomorrow. All right. <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't mean to like uh, no, no. Dro drop hints. But in any case, Sally, why don't you walk us through? You've got some great information for all families. Um, so why don't you walk, go ahead and take over for us. Okay. What I'm gonna do here for just a second is get into my PowerPoint. Okay. So that we can do this together. And while you're doing that, I just wanna say that if you're wondering about the, the mom who's getting the car seat, she's getting this car seat tomorrow. And if any of you are in the Charlotte, North Carolina area and would like to be there, 
Um, this is a great opportunity to go support this mom as she gets her car seat. Conve Conveyed is not only just giving her the car seat, they're hooking it up for her and showing her how to put it into the car. How much do we love that? And they're offering a special short, not long protracted thing, but a short class for people at that time to see about the car seat. You can take a tour of it yourself, but that's going to be held just outside of Charlotte, North Carolina. Correct. And where can we send them? Where would you like them to go to find out more information if they want to be there tomorrow? Uh, it would be great if they could go to our Facebook page. That's www.facebook.com forward slash conveyed wheelchairs. So all the information is there. It's happening at 430 in Matthews, North Carolina. Uh, Sally's Lateral, Curtis Villa is going to be there doing a demonstration on the car seat as well as making the presentation to Kimberly and to Caden. Wonderful. And we're, we're so happy for this family. I was there when we called the mom to tell her that she was getting the car seat and she cried. She cried and she just said, you have no idea. She's so grateful, we're so grateful. Because honestly, now the funds that had been started to be raised for the car seat have now gone to other families to help them. And, and as a result of this, um, a, a, a relationship has started between ACT Today and Conveyed. You have a, a, a list of different organizations and different causes that you have identified that need some extra help sometimes, that sometimes they need some support. And now you've added autism to that, that list and are, are going to be working with ACT Today moving forward when, when we identify that there is some need to be able to help towards that need, working in conjunction with ACT today. So uh, thrilling, thrilling. And I said to the mom on the phone, I said, you, you know, she said thank you a million times. And I know she's going to be thanking you guys as well. And I said to her, no, thank you. Because we always talk on the show about the power of one. This mm -hmm. is one mom. And I know how hard it hurts to say I need help. Mm -hmm. As a mom, like it, that feels sometimes like a failure. It's not. When you say, I need help, it opens doors for all kinds of people. That mom opened the door for her child and her family and herself, and it opened doors for so many other people, countless people, which is exciting to me. So, it is. It is, and it's a two-sided coin. I mean, it, on, on the opposite side of giving is receiving. And for us to be able to share information on our product, to share information on our planned giving program, to be able to reach out to the, to, to the autism community is a big, big deal for us because yeah. so many of our kiddos are within the spectrum and they have great benefit not just from our car seats but from all of our other products, our seating and mobility products, some of the gate products, a lot of the, a lot of the pediatric wheelchairs. So for us, it's important to, know, to, to let uh, families living with opt autism to know that they're is there are a lot of solutions. Yes. And only some of them are offered by, by Conveyed, but it's a large sector. We love it. We absolutely love it. And so how are we doing, Sally? Uh, Sally, are we all set? I, I am ready. She's yep. ready and to I go. Think that they're simultaneously going to be showing you all the PowerPoint, yep. if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So the, the first um, slide is my contact information. And anyone is welcome to, to email me is probably the easiest way or the best way to get a, a quick response. I'm not always able to answer my phone, especially if I'm driving around the crazy highways here. Um, and just to, to back up a little bit, um, yes, I'm a physical therapist. Um, the, the significance with the ATP is ATPs are required by most federal and state funding sources to provide medical equipment to children under 20, the ages of 22. Um, and so that's where that um, assistive technology professional or practitioner, it's called both, um, comes into play there. And then looking at the child passenger safety technician, um, I'm authorized to uh, install car seats, but also assess whether they are appropriate or inappropriate for children in our community and both uh, disabled as well as able-bodied children. Um, there's even a certification for people who are working only with special needs children. So what I'm going to do today is just talk about our company portfolio of car seats. Melina led to that a little bit earlier. We have the Carrot 3 car seat, which has been our mainstay. 
We now have a Carrot 3 booster seat, and I'll talk in more specifics about both of those. And we also, with, with the sister company, we have R82, we've acquired a pilot car seat. So I'm gonna go through each of these individually and talk about, talk about excuse me, their benefits, what is our target user, what options and accessories are available with these particular products. One thing I might add is that we will be coming out with two new car seats in the very near future, one of which will be for children who are in spica casts. That has been um, a huge need for children who've had orthopedic challenges, hip dislocations, or um, like hip surgery and have to be casted. So that's something to, to look towards in the future. So the three chairs, or car seats that we're going to talk about again are the Carrot 3, and you can look at that one and see it looks like a fairly standard car seat with quite a bit of positioning, padding available. We're going to then talk about the Carrot 3 booster seat, and the booster seat, as Melina said, is the one as your child grows out of the Carrot 3, you will move into the Carrot 3 booster seat, which will accommodate growth up to young adult and some even some adults. And then we have the pilot, which is another option with specific positioning and growth available. They're pretty so the too. Can I just say, I hate to interrupt <laughs> you, Sally, but they're pretty. Uh, Those you know, are the three colors. <laughs> uh, they're, just, they're just gorgeous. I, I absolutely love them. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll let you go on. <laughs> <laughs> so the Carrot 3 um, car seat was designed to provide adaptive positioning. Now, when you are talking about car seats and car seat technology and terminology, this is actually what is considered a positioning booster seat. It's forward facing only, it's for 30 pounds and up. So generally speaking, this is a, a car seat that will accommodate a child after the age of one. So again, it's a positioning booster seat. It is, um, its growth is accommodated with inserts and we'll look at the, that a little bit more in the in the future here. Um, it does have a free angle recline so that the back and seat conform to whatever the angle of the car seat is set at. And that then it is a latch equipped system. So it's got the lower anchors and the tether that will hold the, the car seat actually in place in the vehicle. So the positioning options to maintain the upright sitting position and adjust with the growth. It's made with high density foam and you can see the gray components on that slide are those that will move. Those can be repositioned depending on the child's physical uh, shape and physical needs. Uh, the chest harness is, ch is postural as it said it is non load bearing. So that is not designed as a restraint. It's actually to position the child in the position that you are desiring. And then in addition to that five point harness that you see there, you also have a lap belt that we recommend because that's gonna keep the hips back in the back of the car seat where they belong. So in this particular slide, you can see the components that are gray in the back are standard. And then there's three different pictures here, photographs you can see where the red components are the modular components to accommodate growth. So you can increase your seat depth by two inches, by four inches, by seven inches with that rounded component. And then with that rounded component, you can also add an additional four inch insert or a two inch insert. So you can accommodate up to approximately 22 inches of seat depth, which is quite a long seat depth, especially if your children prefer to have their legs either crisscrossed or in extension and not hanging freely in the in the car seat. And I got to interrupt you again, Sally, because this is one of the things that I got so excited about when I saw the car seat. Because, you know, when when we have kiddos that are on the spectrum, a lot of times they're sensory, and you get them in the car, and we start to see, you know, before we realize that they're growing out of them, and, and our kids a lot of times can't verbalize it, we start to see some behaviors, mm -hmm. and the kids get uncomfortable, and sometimes that can manifest in the child screaming in the car. Yep. or the child attempting to move around and get out of the car seat because they're uncomfortable. When we have a kid who is totally verbal, sometimes we'll hear that their legs are going to sleep or that their mm -hmm. legs are feeling pinched because if the car seat isn't, there isn't enough depth, 
Imagine if you're sitting in a seat that's too small and how uncomfortable you get and your feet start to go, go to sleep and if you didn't have a way of conveying that. So I love, and, it, and we're going to show later on some video about how to put those inserts in and how easy and how safe it is. But this is amazing for those of you who have kids that start to squirm. They're probably not comfortable and your car seat doesn't allow you to have any choices, this one does. So I'll let you go back, Sally, but I just had a comment on that because it's brilliant. I appreciate it. So in terms of our um, ch children, generally speaking for the carrot three, I would say that our target is gonna be one to 12 years. Um, two is, a, is probably a, also a nice ballpark, but we know that there are one-year-olds that are tall enough and fulfill that 30 pound weight restriction. Um, so you've got two to 12 years, two and a half feet tall to five feet tall, and 30 pounds to 108 pounds. So that's a pretty significant amount of growth in one particular unit. So the next slide, we're just gonna talk about some of these options, and I think um, you addressed this very well, and this is looking at comfort. So the seat angle wedge, if you have in addition to having um, being on the autism spectrum, if you've got a child who's got uh, muscle tone and tends to want to be an extension, thrusts into extension, that wedge will help stabilize the pelvis and will also help break up some of that inclination to be in extension through the hips. So we do recommend that wedge in addition to the hip belt to help with some of those kids. I call it um, hydroplaning when they kind of scoot out and just want to shoot completely out of that. That um, five-point harness is not meant to hold the body in. That's, that's not a crotch strap. That's positioning. Uh, our lateral supports, as you can see in the next um, section, those lateral supports move. Those are Velcro attached. So if you have a child who has a curvature of his spine or tends to lean to one side or the other, you can put two of those on the same side. I usually recommend in that case that you order two sets so that you have a variety of pads. We recommend that once you get the child positioned, you put those pads in last and then leave them where they are so that after you've positioned the child in optimal uh, postural control or op optional, excuse me, optimal uh, postural positioning, then you add those to supplement. And then talking about lower extremities, we also have available a foot rest so, uh, that also will grow in lower leg length. So it, in addition to those uh, inserts that we looked at in the last or previous slide, you have the option of using a two inch extension, a four inch extension, and then there's also another kind of trick, there's a, an inch and a half of growth built into the back adjustment also. So again, you've got the ability to put those feet on that footrest so that they are supported and are not gonna go to sleep. And then lastly, that I think is really a very important component for children who are on the spectrum is this support tray. The support tray has been crash tested so that it can be used while you're driving. And I think as we all know, we, we have busy hands a lot of times where they find the buttons that they want to push and they you know, manage to figure out how to get out of the car seat in spite of all the straps and the lap belt and the shoulder belt um, in the car. The, the beauty of this tray is it goes over all those components and as I say, out of sight, out of mind. So hopefully with some of our kids who like to detach themselves, like to push buttons, if they don't see those buttons, then that hopefully will help them and prevent them from trying to get out of the car seat. I think the other component that as you meet our uh, recipient for tomorrow is children who have um, somewhat self-stimulating behavior is if they are gonna bang their head forward, that's a soft foam tray and it's not going to cause any further damage. Yeah, I you know when I think when we address the comfort issue and you know they know that they're in something that's really solid and they're comfortable and their legs aren't being pinched um, that's going to go a long way to be able to help. But then on top of that, I really feel like you guys have addressed all the needs that we have in our community to be able to make sure that we're going to we're going to ride safe. And that is huge. It's just huge, you guys. Really wonderful. Um, but then I know we're going to go on to talk about the booster seat, which I know very little bit uh, about, so I'm so excited to hear about it, Sally. <laughs> 
So here we go. Perfect add-in. So here's the Carrot 3 booster seat. If you look at it very closely, you'll notice that the back is the exact same back that we use for the Carrot 3 seat. The only thing that has changed is the cushion, the seat cushion itself, and the harness and hip belt strapping. Otherwise, you're using the same shoulder wings, the same back support. You're also able to use those same um, positioning aids as you were able to use in the other. And again, it is a latch system. So you've got your lower anchor anchors and you've got your rear tether. And then you're using the cars, the vehicles, existing shoulder harness and lap belt as the restraint. And so that goes for both of these units. You're using the cars restraint system. Okay. And it's pretty, so, I gotta say again, <laughs> it's pretty, I love that blue. So it's an extended version of the Carrot 3. It does offer extensive seat and height growth and it will transform in three easy steps. Okay. So again, we've got our free angle recline. Um, it conforms to the angle of the vehicle seat, which allows the ease of diaper changes, clothing changes, if you have any respiratory issues, suctioning, trait care, that kind of thing. And also, um, there are some children who need to be in a specific position, either during their feeding or after feeding for digestive purposes. Um, the shoulder protector wings are included to give the lateral support and protection. And one of the things people ask about is if my kids' shoulders are not that wide, do I need it? Well, when you think about side impact airbags, those shoulder protector wings are gonna help protect the child in the event of a, a vehicular uh, accident. And they are width adjustable to accommodate growth through the shoulders. Again, we're using high density quality foam and it conforms to the natural contours of the body. Here, um, the target user is going to be someone who's outgrown their existing Carrot 3 car seat or a, an additional or an um, alternate car seat that they've had. Child is tall and requires additional bike back height and support or a child that requires a wider seat, a wider seat bottom. So the ages are generally going to be about three years of age or even older to adult, four and a half feet to five foot seven. 79 pounds to 165 pounds so you can see that it will accommodate uh, a young adult or even into adulthood the the width of the seat and the seat depth are approximately 17 wide and 17 deep if you're thinking about it in inches and i think the average seat on a plane if i'm not mistaken is 14 inches so that's a wide seat it is mm -hmm. that's great it, it it yeah that's great and so this just shows um the difference between the carrot three and then as you go into the booster um, that you're starting with your little kids 36 inches high 30 pounds and then as they hit that 60 inches and 108 pounds that's when you're going to transition into the booster great and again it, this the dark coloring just indicates that you can order it as a seat a complete seat on its own or you can just get the kit and retrofit your existing back of your carrot so again, just you have two different options, one the whole booster seat, or number two, the kit to grow your carrot three. Spectacular. And again, here's your um, accessories. You've got the shoulder protector wings. You've got that wider seat. You've got the four point harness. So you've got your hip belt and your shoulder harness. It's a little different. You don't have that plate in the front, the protective plate. And then it just shows another picture of what you get if you order the booster kit itself. So lots of options, lots of accessories. Um, it is tested to the highest quality stand safety standards, five-year warranty, and all of our BDRs out in the community are um, authorized and have been credentialed as a child pas passenger safety technician. So, and what is a BDR, Sally? Business development representative. Oh, okay. okay, got it. <laughs> um, and and so in fact, one of your BDRs is going to be there tomorrow with Correct. this mom, and they're going to put the car seat into the car for her and help her to get used to the whole thing so that she knows how it works, which is right. amazing, truly amazing. We love Convade. Um, <laughs> and, I, and what is? Do you guys have a website for people to go to as well? I know you've got your Facebook. Yeah, www.convade.com. And tomorrow, Curtis Filial will be at our North Carolina offices 
from 4 onward, but the presentation itself will happen at 4.30, so anyone that's in that general vicinity is definitely welcome to join our join us at our RD2 offices in Matthews. And go, go take a look and see this amazing mom get her car seat and see yeah. if this car seat is something that you need to have in your life, because I think there are a lot of people out there that are going to need this. Now, Sally, I interrupted you, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go okay. back to you. That's okay. I'm just going to real quickly go through the pilot, which is the third car seat that we have in our inventory. Um, the pilot car seat is a little bit less complex in terms of its adjustability, but it does have width and depth growth adjustments for children up to five feet tall. And the car seat packs flat, so it folds flat when you're traveling and need to put it either in the um, the belly of the plane or someplace else. Um, it does have that adjustable four-point vest. It has the um, two-position abductor, in other words, ways to either keep the knees apart or bring the knees together, depending on the child's needs. It has the side impact protection, and it does, as the carrot does, have that adjustable width through the shoulders up to 20 inches wide. Now the significance of that 20 inches wide for those of you who have more than one child in more than one car seat in the back is knowing how many car seats are going to fit in the back seat of your car. Adjustable height with 11 positions with the headdress and it's very easy to adjust from six and a half up to six and a half inches high with just one hand. It does have the seat extension kit which will accommodate four inches of leg length growth. And same with the seat bottom, has extra length for leg support. And then it has an air tech foam, so it has a little bit more breathability. And again, here are your um, target users, some, a child who does not require extensive positioning, three years to 12 years, three feet to five feet, 40 pounds to 120 pounds. I think the significant thing here is all of these seats are recommended and prescribed through a physician. They are medical equipment and not all states have funding for medical equipment in the car seat uh, category. So this the pilot car seat is a little less costly than the carrots. Okay. So that's where it falls in. But so in some states, if people feel like this is a car seat that they need, it's possible that their insurance might pay for part of the car seat or all of the car seat. Is that what I'm hearing? It's possible? Might. Might, okay. Um, unfortunately, it, it will take a lot of advocacy on the family's part to educate oh, some of our Oh, Sally, insurance we companies. are so used to that. We know all go. about that. We've, we've been, I, we have families that have been able to get iPads through insurance, so we know all about the advocacy. We are like dogs on a bone. Uh, there you <laughs> go. Moms. We like that. Uh, so, and we are not afraid of that, are we, folks? <laughs> So that's good to know then that that's a possibility mm -hmm. that, you know, that's a way that people can uh, reach out because it is medical equipment. If you yes. can't ride in a yes. car without these, then it's medically necessary. So good well, to know. And you can't get to your doctor's appointments yeah. if you don't mm -hmm. have that transportation. Absolutely. Um, and similarly, if you go through um, Medicaid in your state funding and you get denied, appeal, appeal, appeal. All right. You heard it here first, folks. Because um, you know what? We understand that language. We've had to do that for everything else, so that makes a certain amount of sense. And, and a lot of us, if you've been around in this community for more than six months, you go, oh, okay, if I just know that i got to fight, 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 yep. I, can, I can do that. <laughs> yep. That's a very possible thing. Okay, so the pilot, I was because I was going to ask you then, when, when would you use the pilot, not the carrot? So it's for kids that are, need less positioning, um, that need a little less of the, the control that we needed to have. So if they don't have issues with sticking their legs out or issues with their hips, they could potentially do the pilot. I like the fact that it Correct. folds flat. Mm -hmm. That's a very cool thing. And it's got a less expensive price point on it. Yes. Okay. Yes. I feel I feel educated. You are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So I interrupted again, Sally. I'm no, turning it back just, over to you. Next slide is, says thank you. Uh, so there you go. 
you well, I, I think, honestly, the thank you is on our side because you guys have thought of everything, I think. I love that there are so many options so that you can customize it for your individual needs. And if your needs change, you can customize it, which is really spectacular. Uh, I think if it's okay with you guys, I think we should take a short break. And then when we come back, I want to talk about, uh, because we've got a car seat right here and it's beautiful. And we've got some video of how you put those different inserts in. But shall we take a short break? Let's do it. All right. We'll be back after this message. Welcome back to Autism Live during this very special episode. We're thrilled to be here with you uh, to be talking about conveyed car seats and about car seat safety and to introduce you to this amazing company that we is new to us and I'm so excited. Uh, I, really, really excited about what you guys have been able to do in car seat technology. We had uh, Sally Mallory with us, and she's still here with us, um, but we wanted to come back into the studio here live because you brought a car seat with us, Milena. And we, uh, it's, first of all, I got, I got to mention, it's not only, if I said, it's really, really beautiful piece of equipment, but it's so soft. It is. It's it's designed to make the children feel comfortable in the in this environment, and it's it's just one of the amazing features. Everything's very well constructed. It's um, it's uh, an amazing car seat that that enables growth. It's a lot of. Uh, it's very portable when you're uh, anywhere when you're traveling anywhere for to school or out and about in the community. It's uh, it's a wonderful car seat. It, you know. The other day, those of you who watch the show, you know Nancy Allspaugh Jackson sometimes co-hosts with me, and Nancy has been ill. And the other day, I had her son with me, so I had my son um, and her son, and we got into this conversation about babies. And I don't know why we got into this conversation, but Wyatt, Nancy's son, was asking me, uh, why do we wrap babies up in blankets? So we had this whole conversation about why we swaddle. Mm -hmm. And that babies, when they're in their mommy's belly, they're squished in there. Um, and that's what they're used to. And then they come out and they're in this environment and their arms and their legs, which have been, you know, held in closer, are out. And that sometimes babies cry because it feels like they're falling. And so we, we know we swaddle them in the burrito to hold them in and kind of squish them because it feels more comfortable to them. Now, some babies get over that very quickly. Other babies do not. Our, our babies that are on the autism spectrum that grow up tend to still like a, a bit of pressure. I mean, we know Temple Grandin invented her cow squisher thing so mm -hmm. that she could squish herself. Um, that sometimes being hugged is not comfortable for them, but they like the feeling of pressure. It's why our kids tend to be drawn towards the water because the pressure of the water on their skin. It is unreasonable to think that in a car that they wouldn't feel that as well. This helps to contain them in a really soft way so that it's not like they're being, they don't feel restrained, but they feel hugged in a way that's appropriate for them. And because you have so many different options and ways that you can put the cushions that are approved for the car seat in and are still safe. I know people who are jamming pillows in mm -hmm. and everybody thinks 
I don't know how safe that is. This has mm -hmm. extra cushioning mm -hmm. that you can get, that you can squeeze it in, position your child so that if they do lean over to one side, um, you know, you can do whatever you need to do. It's really great. What I'd love to do is show at least one of the videos that we've got that shows how you put in the extra pieces so that it grows. Can we do that? Do you mind sure. if we do that right Go now? Ahead. Samantha, and it doesn't, it almost doesn't matter which one you choose because they'll see how the technology kind of goes together. So let's show just one of those. And they, and I believe they're silent, right? Oh. I think no, 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 it's okay. Go ahead and, and uh, is there there? I don't. I, there's maybe no I music. Them there's, on there's just very, very simple um, walkthroughs. So I would say just roll with them. It's going. Place the carrot on the vehicle's back seat, making sure the tether strap is accessible. Locate the tether anchor point in the vehicle. You locate it on the bottom of the back seat. Pull the tether strap to remove all slack, making the carrot securely anchored. Locate the right and left latch connectors on the carrot. Ensure the latch straps are not twisted, then insert the connectors into the anchors. You will hear a click when properly attached. Feed the seat belt through the vehicle belt path and lap belt guide and buckle into car seat belt. And you know, I, I what I, I we're, we're mesmerized. But what I love about that too, sometimes you see, I, I love it when they came up with latch. First mm -hmm. of all, that was so exciting when they came up with latch. Um, so we and we're used to that with car seats. What we're not used to is doing both latch and lap belt sometimes, yes. mm -hmm. especially with the five point harness. But I have to say, and Sally, I'd love your input on on this too. I love that. Um, I love that because it's that much more that we've got and the five point harness sometimes is the cue to the child, okay, we're in the car now, we're gonna behave in the car way. And I felt like when we, when we went from a five point harness to the regular belt, it was weird for my son. But mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. because we're having it both in, first of all, the child is that much more safe, but we're also teaching the child that this is part of it because it is going to be a part of it for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. That right. seat belt is going to be there regardless of you know, where you live. It's the, you know, it's the law and it should be the law mm -hmm. that that is necessary. So I love that it's matching all the other kids and we've just got one more layer. What do you think, Sally? No, I agree. I think sometimes it, it gets a little confusing because technically utilizing, as you say, the hip belt and the shoulder harn or the shoulder belt in a car indicates that it's a booster. And that's not in fact the case. And that's why I say technically it's a positioning booster seat because you are using the existing the, the vehicle's existing lap belt and shoulder belt. However, I agree with you and I think the significance for me is um, I mean, if, you, if you've got that car seat right there and you pick it up, it's not light. And it is a very heavy projectile in the event of a vehicle accident if it was not latched in. So I feel very strongly that the latch um, needs to be used in the event that a family has a car that's older than 1994 then we do have a kit that's available so you can convert their car to accommodate that latch system. Okay, and so, I want to let you know, Sally, that while we're talking, Samantha is going ahead and showing how um, the video that's showing how you add extra pieces to elongate the, the seat and how perfect. it slides out and how you snap it in. Um, yeah. it, really incredible technology it makes so much sense and for anybody who has ever despaired about the fact that the car seat was not long enough anymore in the seat this makes such brilliant brilliant sense but i'm glad to know that on older cars that don't have latch that you guys have a kit so that you can um you know accommodate those cars as well but the, the latch other, is I'm sorry. was a brilliant thing 
that they and that, but but I think it's important. I'm glad you addressed that also because it does get a little confusing because generally speaking, you don't have both. But I recommend using both if you can. And it, and from a behavioral standpoint, it makes such good sense because mm -hmm. you're getting the child used to. I you know my son was so used to that five point thing, and then when we went across. Oh, it was such a we had a we had quite a, an issue, and it's I was a sensory worried. issue too. Yes, yes. well, yeah, yes. period of adjustment, of course. Yeah, and this way you're getting them used to all of that from the beginning. You're going to be that much. You're going to feel that much more comfortable. The child's going to be that much safer. Um, I think it's the wise thing to do. So I I absolutely love that. Um, we uh, every so often we need to say what the website is. So tell us the website. www.convey.com Okay. And, and you're also on Facebook, and that's where people can find the information about the event tomorrow. Um, and again, to recap, tomorrow, Conveyed is giving a care at three to a very worthy family um, that has multiple children, but one little guy who likes to get out of his car seat and get on the floor of the car, and often it results in the mom being pulled over on the side of the road. I want to read just a little bit of the letter. Um, do you want to read it? I wish you would. Go, okay. go right ahead. But I'm Beautiful. going to cry. Everybody get your tissues. That's Are you okay. Ready? I can't read it because I would cry, so okay. I'm letting you read it. <laughs> um, so this mom wrote and said, I've been avoiding car rides with my autistic son because they can be life-threatening as his behaviors become so severe. During one of our recent car rides, my son was punching himself and hitting himself repeatedly until he began to bleed. He already has bruises, so my heart is completely ripped apart during these moments. He's figured out how to slide his way out of two other car seats and even reaches over to unbuckle the main seat belt. Um, she goes on to say, when he struggles free of his car seat, he places himself on the floor, kicking and screaming while my other children panic as I try to find the nearest exit on the interstate. You can only sit so long on the side of the highway before that becomes dangerous too. And she wrote many things, but I want to uh, conclude that she said, I'm beyond desperation and running out of hope. So in my search, I found you. And she's talking about ACT today, but just so everybody knows, she specifically, in her request, asked for the carrot three. She did the research, and she said, this is the car seat that my son needs. Um, and that informed us because I, I didn't know about the carrot three. Um, so she opened up a whole new world for me and, and I wanted to share it with you guys because this is an amazing car seat. And as, as those of you who are just tuning in, uh, we called Conveyed and said that we were raising money for the seat, but we were falling short. I, when I read this, I will just tell you, when I read this grant application, I was at home and going through hundreds of applications and they all break your heart. But this one, I, you know, it just, re I can remember getting a ticket when my son got out of his car seat and I pulled over um, and I turned on a place where I wasn't, I couldn't take a right on a red, but I did anyway because I was trying to get to a safe place because my kid was out of his car seat and the police gave me a ticket and I sat and cried in the car because I thought what's going to happen to us what will we do where will we go I mean how am I ever going to be able to go down the street and be safe I you know my story got better for lots of reasons and I was really lucky and I had good support um, but I and I didn't have other children I could give hundred percent of my focus to my one kid but I thought about what it would be like to be a mom with multiple kids in the car um, and have this happening and how terrifying it would be and I read part of it to my husband and my husband was like you got to do something you got to do we got to do something what can we sell this woman's got to have a, a car seat let's you know let's make this happen well the people who made it happen were conveyed yeah. Um, they're the ones because when we were falling short and we reached out to them and I spoke with Milena and she said I was reading you the letter we were both crying on the phone and you said stop we're giving her the car seat we're giving her the car seat um, so I mean you know on this show you guys I always like to tell you when there are businesses that support us 
because we need to support them too. And what a great business to support because you probably need this car seat anyway, <laughs> right? And um, so now you know where to find it, you know who to get it from, you know how it's gonna grow. This is quality uh, and the company is quality. And, and it isn't just autism. You've already identified many groups with different issues. Oh, many, many, many. I mean, a lot of our, uh, a lot of the CP population uses this car seat. A lot of kids with any type of motor issues tend to use it. Uh, it's because of its safety, its ease of use. Uh, it, 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 it works in so many different sectors and syndromes that it's it's pretty universal. But it you turn it's, it seems that a lot of the population is within the autism spectrum and a lot and also CP. So it's it's something that's totally I ideal for for our kiddos. Yeah, and 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 we do need more support in the car. I mean, let's be let's be honest about that, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, on this show, I like to talk about how glorious the car ride can be. It's a learning opportunity when your kids are safe, and if they aren't safe, how can anything happen? But um, sometimes when we when we give our kids all the right support in the car, we get them hooked in so that they can't get out, and that they feel safe, and that they feel comfortable. It. And, and all those sensory needs are met, it can become the ideal time to have educational moments happening. So we're so thrilled for this mom. She's getting the car seat tomorrow for her son. If you are in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, the actual city that it's, it's in. It's Matthews, it's Matthews. about 11 miles outside of Charlotte, so it's, it's very easy to get very to. Very close to Charlotte. So um, they're gonna be giving her the car seat tomorrow. There's going to be, an, it's, it's a small event, let's say that, uh, that she's gonna get the car seat. There will be an opportunity an educational opportunity for families to come and hear about and see how the car seat works and touch it and um, and see how that happens and be there to support conveyed in their decision to support this mom which is really uh, you know it's the true spirit of the holidays honestly um, it just I, I've been weepy about it all week long and there have been so many people that were you know working on this car seat who were saying you know are we gonna be able to get the car seat and then when we said to them yeah the company is giving her the car seat uh, like it's there. It's People already in North Carolina. People are saying nice things about you behind your back. Let's Good. Say Let that. them keep saying them. <laughs> we have an excellent product for them to, to actually enjoy a lot more life. I mean, our moniker is now we're going places. So with our care at three, our families do go places. It, it, it really causes more inclusion. It causes adventure, fun. It really, it really is, is something that really makes life a lot more qualitative. So it's Conveyed, you guys. Uh, tell us the website again. www.conveyed.com. We have a great following on Twitter as well as Facebook. Everyone's welcome to come join our Facebook community. And also, we have an ambassador program. Basically, our Conveyed ambassadors serve for a year. They are part of the community. They share their experiences. They share um, insights from their community. Certainly, we have a large and growing uh, autism spectrum community, and anyone that would like to participate in the 2017 program is welcome to go to our Facebook. And there are 10 easy questions. We just want to know a little bit more about you, and we'd really love to include more uh, kiddos and more families from the autism community in our ambassador family. And those applications are being accepted through the end of the year, through the 31st. And anyone who wants to fill out that application can do so. Find it online, either on our website or on our Facebook page. And they can email it to me, Milena, M-I-L-E-N-A, at Convade, C-O-N-V-A-I-D.com. Wonderful. We're running out of time here, Sally, but any last thoughts from you? I wanted to mention that there are also two uh, additional accessories that are available. One is a mesh liner that you put into the car seat so it helps breathe. So if you have children who have some um, temperature issues or tend to sweat, it'll keep them, it wicks away that moisture. And then there is also a, um, it's made by a company called Liquigard that is an incontinent liner also that will go in the car seat. So those two accessories can be very important to families. Yes, spectacular additions. Sally, I thank you so much for being with us and for pleasure. sharing your expertise with us and thank you for the good work that you're doing. Um, and Melena, I want to thank you and everybody at Conveyed. If there's ever anything we can do for you, I just think you guys are rock stars. I think this seat is amazing, and I think what you do is amazing. 
Thank you. The work that you do is phenomenal. And for Back to Day and for CARD and for your amazing show that's so informative. Yeah. Just uh, please keep up the great information. Thank you so much. And I, I did want to say, I was going to say this before, uh, for those of you who are looking and going, what did Shannon do to her hair? Uh, <laughs> if you have not, if you've not already checked on Facebook, take a look at what we did on Friday. Uh, we did uh, a very specific message. Uh, you know that we have a, a new president elect and we wanted to be on his radar. Uh, so we did a video and said that the truth, that 2% of the population here in the United States is on the autism spectrum. And when you say that to people, when you say 2%, people go, well, oh, yeah, 2%. What 2%, is 2%? 2 yeah. doesn't sound like a whole lot. So we decided to, we like visual aids here. So we decided to dye 2% of my hair um, to match uh, Mr. Trump's. It, it's got a little more orange, I think. <laughs> I think he would say that's a little more orange. But so we, we dyed 2% of my hair. And here's what we discovered is that 2% is significant. It's noticeable. And you can't ignore it. Um, and so there it is. That's why I look like I've had a tomato smashed on my head. <laughs> um, I'm kind of having fun with it. And, uh, you know, but this, take a look. This is what 2% is. And it, it's a lot more than you would think. Mm -hmm. It really is. 2% is significant. So if you, uh, if you feel that way too, feel free to join us and, and check out that video, share it. And we are, we are starting a campaign uh, tweeting at the real Donald Trump saying, I'm, uh, we're, we are the 2% or I am the 2% um, so that he knows while he's making decisions, this is a significant part of the community and a beautiful part of the community. So there you have it for that. We are, we are at the end of our special one hour here, and I just want to thank Convade again. I'm so excited about tomorrow and this mom getting her car seat, but I'm excited for all of you that you now know about this car seat and uh, that you got the information you need if you've been struggling with car safety. Definitely check them out. Convade, tell me the website again. It's still www.convade.com. There we go. And check out on Facebook if you can get there tomorrow in North Carolina to be there for that presentation. It's really wonderful. We are going to be back live on Wednesday. In fact, in the first hour on Wednesday, we are going to, we'll do an opener, but then we're going to replay this hour because we think it's that important. We want our regular Wednesday audience to see that. Um, and then we have more show on Wednesday afternoon, three amazing guests during Let's Talk Autism with Shannon and Nancy. And the rumor is that Miss Nancy will be back with us as well. So... Uh, it'll be our really spectacular last show of the year blowout. You're not going to want to miss it. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now.